So, a warm welcome to all of you. Colleagues, friends, it's a great pleasure to have you here at Hanak House. This is a very special place. It was built almost 100 years ago, and it was a place for academic exchange. And many of the greatest signs of the last century met here. Um, can I have my slides, please? So I'm going to show you a few of them. Now, this is from David Putrino, um, the one um, from Scheibenbogen. <laughs> So, um, Hanak is the one um, who gave his name to this um, building. He was a visionary scientist. Many other spoke here, like you see here now, Albert Einstein, um, Lise Meitner, Otto Hahn, Max Planck, Heisenberg. Most of them were physicists. And um, you see them in the lobby, all the photos of, of these people. And here is the nice garden where we will meet in the afternoon and in the evening to exchange. Today you are here, the leading scientists for MECFS and long COVID. And many of you have um, made groundbreaking works. And I'm very happy to welcome you all from all over the world. So we have people here from the US, from all over in Europe, from Japan, from Israel, from Taiwan. We have an important duty today. We will exchange about the most complex and devastating disease of our time, MECFS. And for much too long, this disease has been under-researched, has been underfunded, has been not understood or has been severely misunderstood. Now the time has changed. This is also an advancement of long COVID research. Now we have and now we are in a time where we really start to understand pathomechanisms, mechanisms and based on these pathomechanisms, mechanisms we can develop targeted therapy with a high promise for cure and such trials are already running in several centers worldwide and we will hear about this tomorrow on the next slide you see warburg can you show the next slide otto warburg yeah so he was one of the scientists um, working close by here. He was a physician and um, biochemist, and one of his most uh, known findings is um, that cancer cells actually um, can um, uh, develop a specific uh, type of energy use, the so so-called Warburg cycle. So these um, cells rely more on sugar. They um, uh, produce glycolysis, um, which is a more efficient way in an anaerobic situation, uh, but has several disadvantages also for cells. And we learned that in MECFS, such a low energy mode um, also plays a central role, is probably at the center of the disease of um, what is the most severe problem for our patient, the post-exertional malaise. In this sense, I think we will also um, work together during the next two days to discuss about um, uh, probably findings we couldn't understand and interpret so far and look across our scientific borders. We all know that the suffering is high, that there are millions of patients and their relatives desperately waiting for treatment and cure. And we're not there yet, but we are quite close based on the knowledge we have now. And this is our great responsibility also to accelerate um, research and to really try to develop curative therapies. There are more than 2,500, I think almost 3,000 uh, people listening to us today too. Many of them are patients. So we really um, recognize um, the high need and high responsibility we have. And this meeting is also an opportunity to make an international declaration of leading scientists of support 
conducting research and drug development for ME, CFS and long COVID. And I invite the speakers and chairs for this today's meeting to sign this declaration. You got already sent it by email. You can also sign it here at the registration desk later on. So the conference needs to be a milestone for ME, CFS science and recognition because we have really tried hard that um, the suffering ends in not such a far time. Now it's my great pleasure to introduce David Putrino. He is a physical therapist and a neuroscience and director of rehabilitation, I need to read it now, innovation at Mount Sinai in New York. And he's also one of the earliest and strongest advocates for long COVID patients and has helped of bring strong scientific recognition to MECF as well. So, David, please. Mm -hmm. 